Initial coin offerings are ways people have raised money. Vitalik Buterin did this to raise his $18 million in 2014 uh, for the Ether Network. What's up, XRP Moon fam? What's up, Diamond Hand Strong, Bag Stuff and Family? It's the Bag Man, the Moon Commander, back in the spaceship, Mothership 589. How's everybody doing out there? Hope y'all are doing well, holding strong, stuffing those bags, and continuing to stay extra, extra bullish out there. XRP, they hate it so much that they're trying to copy it. Also, we got some pictures of the SEC staff working hard behind the scenes. And do you remember back in the day when we used to use Bitcoin, how we used to send it? Let's go ahead and dive into the charts, dive into the news and get that whole game extra, extra strong. Remember to sell that FUD and buy that bag because the bag a day keeps those banksters away. They try to shake me out, but I was born ready. Dropping down the price, then I be getting plenty. They want all your bags and they want all them empty. Ripple moved 140 and a half million XRP in the last 20 hours. XRP price embarks on its new bullish journey. Ripple moving some big bags behind the scenes. Ripple's director of developer relations accusing strike of copying on-demand liquidity. In a recent tweet, Matt Hamilton, director of developer relations at Ripple, claims that Jack Mahler's killer app took notes from the company's on-demand liquidity solutions, formerly known as XRapid. Here is a tweet with a screenshot from Strike detailing how a cross-border payment to El Salvador works using BTC. Now here's a video of Ash Go Blue from three years ago, Ashish Barilla, explaining how XRapid, now called ODL, works. Notice a striking resemblance. Someone just posted about how fast and easy the Strike app is to use with Bitcoin in El Salvador. It's pure rubbish. Strike then takes Bitcoin, automatically converts them back into USD, synthetic dollars known as Tether, using its real-time automated risk management and trading infrastructure. Why not just jump onto the XRP ledger and use the real deal? You cannot copy or duplicate what's been working in the background for almost six, seven years, building out the ecosystem, banks, financial institutions. The new internet is here. Jump on or you will get left behind. Jeremy Hogan, I believe that the SEC has been expeditiously reviewing and producing documents as it argues in response to Ripple's motion to compel. In fact, I've obtained a behind the scenes picture of the SEC's litigation staff working hard to comply. And here we have the SEC contemplating their next move. They don't know what to do because it's just a bunch of FUD. This is how you know this is all drama, just smoke and mirrors. By the way, just hearing Jay Clayton's voice makes me want to throw it <laughs> makes me want to throat kick someone. Hey, SEC News, remind us why Ripple is being sued again. This should be criminal. Initial coin offerings are ways people have raised money. Vitalik Buterin did this to raise his $18 million in 2014, if I my, my year right, uh, for the Ether Network. By 2016, somebody had raised $150 million in an initial coin offering. The concept is basically, I want to get proceeds for a network I haven't yet built. I'm going to build this network, but instead of selling equity to a venture capital fund, I'm going to sell a bunch of tokens that someday, hopefully, will be usable. It's a neat way to crowdfund. And foremost, they're trying to enhance the value of the tokens they sold because often they still own tokens. There are thousands and thousands of private placements that go on every year in the U.S. We want them to go on. We want people to raise capital, but we want them to do it right. Right. What ICOs do is they take the disclosure light benefits of a private placement and then add to it the public general solicitation and retail investor promise of a secondary market without registering with us. And folks somehow got comfortable that this was new and it was okay and it was not a security, it was just some other way to raise money. Well, I disagree with them. The exact thing the SEC is trying to sue Ripple for, Ethereum actually did. And what do you know? Jay Clayton 
puppet strings being pulled, probably being paid out in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Former SEC Chairman Jay Clayton will advise One River Asset Management on crypto. One River's bet big on crypto last year with plans to purchase 1 billion in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Trying to shake out XRP the standard because XRP is pretty much the Bitcoin and Ethereum killer. The big Bitcoin and Ethereum players pulling all these strings, they don't want you to know about XRP. That's why they're going after the standard. During his tenure, the SEC took position publicly that neither Bitcoin or Ethereum are securities and so shouldn't be overseen by the regulator. I wonder why. Clayton's SEC did focus on Ethereum-based tokens sold in ICOs, but took a fair approach to Ethereum itself. That's because they're probably getting paid out in Bitcoin and Ethereum. And Jay Clayton just took the role advisor at One River, where they're looking to invest $1 billion in Bitcoin and Ethereum. You can do the math. You can see what's going on here. Ripple CEO warns SEC may sue company over XRP sales. It's an attack on the entire crypto industry and American innovation. We all know what's going on behind the scenes. FinCEN finds Ripple Labs Inc. in the first civil enforcement action against a virtual currency exchanger. I don't see security. I don't see ICO up here. Virtual currency exchangers must bring products to the market that comply with our anti-money laundering laws, said FinCEN director. Innovation is laudable, but only as long as it does not unreasonably expose our financial system to tech smart criminals eager to abuse the latest and most complex products. So FinCEN went after Ripple for not having AML compliance. Well, Ripple has already fixed that and they've been working with the Fed since 2015, probably even 2014. Also, if you're a member of the Federal Task Force, Ripple improved speed and transparency of global payments. Back in 2017, the Faster Payment Task Force gives Ripple the vote of confidence of the next gen of global payments. This is way bigger than we all could have even imagined. That's why we are currently having the great shakeout of the great digital currency XRP. And also, if you remember, former SEC enforcer tell swell crowd xrp is not a security and everything that you're seeing on the news right now is just a smoke screen because they don't want you with that generational wealth bag they don't want you with the greatest digital asset ever created once again all the money real boy xrp let's check out this short clip some of them then went on and founded a company now you're called ripple uh to kind of commercialize that and they gave ripple about 80 billion xrp from that original genesis wallet and, and then Ripple went on to do kind of its thing and, and uh, kind of, you know, it originally Ripple was starting off to do complete peer to peer stuff, personal things. Uh, but then there was the FinCEN case uh, in the US as a, 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 a regulator FinCEN in 2014, basically fined Ripple for running a virtual currency. Right. I mean, that's yeah, what's so interesting I, about I this whole SEC thing. Right. They, they've already been sued for running a currency and now they're being sued for supposedly well, gangsters. What gangsters do. Mm -hmm. We know it's all good. It, Exactly. Right. <laughs> He's like, you all so, gangsters do what gangsters do, and that's why they have to shake you out of XRP. The only one working with banks, regulators, going to battle against the SEC. A thousand times faster, cheaper, less expensive, no middleman taking the fees, no energy, but they're still going after the standard while they pump Bitcoin and Ethereum because they're getting paid out. So they're just pumping their own bags. Are you ready? Are you ready? Zero doubt. XRP the standard moonshot and route i hope you have those bags packed crypto bull 2020 xrp building a strong base here while making higher lows xrp the summer is heating up a lot of things lined up for the xrp holders james real xrp sending a bitcoin payment do you guys remember back in the days when we used to send these payments james i'm gonna send you a bitcoin payment send me a wallet address I'll be with you in about six days. Never fear, you don't have to use this form of payment anymore. There's a new standard out there called XRP. You better get a bag and look into it. Do you hold a good bit of XRP, XLM, XDC, or ALGO? Are you expecting a flare airdrop? Congratulations, you're most certainly a member of the new 1% who will soon be able to help improve the world. Welcome to the party. If you have a bag, welcome to the show. We're just here a little bit early. So go ahead and pull up some chairs while the Fudsters are inbound to pump our bags. I'm the XRP bag man up here on the mothership. And I hope you have yourself a pair of shades. 
because the future is extremely bright and you don't want those green laser eyes melting off those non-crypto people out there with that being said i hope y'all continue to stay extra extra bullish out there i hope to see you all up here on the mothership and i'll catch y'all on the next one Drilling ass, I see crypto nails all around the world. I see crypto nails. Hold on for their life and don't ever let go. Millionaires, billionaires, drilling ass. I see crypto nails all around the world. I see crypto nails. Hold on for their life and don't ever let go. Holding strong till we rock it. Try to hold us down, can't stop it. Why rap come true like a prophet? Hot box in the cockpit. Probably been spaces popping. You keep windows shopping. I be spaceship hopping.